Have you ever wondered how long ago speaking to each other goes? For how many thousands of years people speak words and form sentences creating progress and civilization? Those questions make us feel incredibly small compared to the evolution of humanity. While thinking of all those phenomena that occurred throughout the centuries, we cannot help but imagine ancient civilizations and people from other times living full lives and passing on from generation to generation the acquired ability to talk. One of the most amazing examples is the Greek language. Going back to the 3rd millennium BC, Greek is undeniably the oldest documented language still spoken today compared to any other in the Indo-European family. The history of the Greek language is crafted upon its very words, spoken and sung for thousands of years by millions of lips bringing forth the history of the Greek nation itself. But how many changes in the language have been made till today? Researchers often refer to the very first form of the Greek language called Proto-Greek. The ancestor of all later varieties of Greek, Proto-Greek is the only version that remains unrecorded but yet assumed by archaeological and historical findings. The first written record comes later in Linear A, the so-called writing system used by the Minoans. That is, when Hellenic tribes migrated to the Greek peninsula and started forming a stunning civilization. However, before entering the era of the ancient Greek language, another civilization, the Mycenaean, was already using another writing system, also considered an ancestor of the later varieties of Greek, the Linear B. Both Linear A and B gave their place to the upcoming sparkling ancient Greek world. Ancient Greeks were speaking from place to place differently. The formation of the language was not the same between places. It consisted of several special types called dialects. From Sparta to Athens to other places of the ancient world, Greek had a variety of dialects 
close to each other and also rich in idioms and vocabulary. They could easily communicate amongst themselves, even though at that time Greece was not considered to be a politically united state. It was only at around 300 BC when Greek developed a common and widely acknowledged form. It was the Kine Glossa, literally meaning the common language. This form of the language, mostly coming from the Athenian dialect from around 5 to 400 BC, started becoming the common language of all Greeks. This happened at the time of Alexander the Great, and because of him, all the Eastern world was learning and speaking Greek. For the first time in history, Greek was an international language. Years from that era, Kine Glossa continued evolving due to the Roman Empire and the strong influence of Christianity. During the Byzantine times, Kine Glossa became Byzantine Greek as it did not stop evolving while giving existence to remarkable texts regarding science, logic, religion and philosophy. In its prior era, the Byzantine Empire established Greek as the official language of the state, making it for the second time an international language. For a thousand years, the Greek civilization continued spreading all around Europe and Asia, while humanity's progress relied on it to explore its mysteries and express its outcomes. However, the conquest of the Ottomans in the dawn of the Byzantine glorious era brought the language in front of a series of challenging misfortunes. It wasn't easy from that point on to carry on the legacy of the language in its most sophisticated form. Therefore, the language was simplified by the undereducated lay people and the influences around them. The modern era had already begun. For 600 years now, the language has only slightly changed, and despite the willingness of the upper class to establish a more sophisticated version of Greek called Katharevusa, standard modern Greek widely spoken by everyday people became the official language of the nation. Nowadays, more than 13 million people speak Greek as a native language, while Greek words were borrowed to other languages including English.
scientific terminology still owes a great deal of gratitude to the Greek language for giving existence to various scientific terms. Greek is the oldest spoken language in the Indo-European family, with fewer changes in 2,700 years than English in less than 800. A living, thriving language, surviving and evolving in any way, under any circumstances, to this very day.